Hey Cancer Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel, welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. I hope you all are doing amazing. So let's start with, this This is basically whatever you need to hear. It's gonna be like an energetic quick check-in. I am seeing Cancer energy here, Virgo energy, Taurus, Scorpio. I'm seeing uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, what else? Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Yep. Okay, so you have here at the bottom of the deck, the Five of Swords, the Judgment, the High Priestess, and the Temperance. I'm going to put the, uh, the Temperance back. Okay, so this is you, High Priestess Energy. Some of you are High Priestesses, very intuitive people. You make your decisions based on your instincts, on your intuition. But I do feel like somebody could have tricked you, played mind games on you. Could be an Aquarius. We have Scorpio and Pisces as well, but I feel like this is more your energy. So it feels to me like some of you have decided to make a decision to cut something off you have the death card here twice and you also have rebirth now what i will tell you is this might be something that someone else doesn't want to let go of but it feels like you have released it or you are trying to release it karmic lessons resurrection and spiritual awakening you're going through a rebirth here you got rebirth twice you got death twice so some of you are going through a death and a rebirth and this has been a cycle that's been gone through passed through at least twice so maybe you got with someone or a situation you let it go you did it again, you let it go. Now, this could be third time's the charm, and I don't mean like it's going to work out. I don't feel like it will. I feel like some of you are starting to realize your worth, your value, and you're cutting someone off here who just is like very petty, small-minded, you know, argumentative, possibly even a little bit abusive, okay, for some of you. Even if it's emotional abuse and not physical abuse, abuse is abuse, okay? So yeah, some of you are breaking free from these, these chains, that, these shackles that have been holding you down, and you're finding your peace. With the temperance card this is also a balance of your masculine and feminine energy you're finding the meaning you're being sensible and what happened to you so it's like okay you're ready for your ten of cups you no longer want to be lied to you no longer want to be played with or well, somebody here could have had a family and lied to you been married already or been married to you and cheated on you because i am seeing somebody here that's a trickster spirit so the first card out is the chariot and this is your major okay so the chariot does talk about moving forward Okay, it talks about, again, balance of masculine and feminine energy, your subconscious and conscious mind being on the same accord, working together to accomplish a goal, and it's moving on quickly. So there's something here that you have shut the door on. I'm hearing Nene leaks. The door is closed. <laughs> the door is closed, okay? It could involve another cancer, or this is just your energy. We have the Eight of Pentacles. I see some of you really hard at work. Possibly um, mastering a new skill set. You're very diligently working on something. You could be perfecting something. <clears throat> you could also be self-employed or starting to journey down that road of self-employment. I also see some of you being very charitable. Um, it's at this point now that you realize that you want someone that will scratch your back when you scratch their back. You no longer want to just be the one giving. You want to receive as well, and you deserve that. Okay? There's something going on with your job. It could be uh, rewards and recognition at work here. I'm seeing the Three of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. This could be a new job coming in, but let's go down the line. Let's not jump ahead. So we have Spring Equinox, Rebirth, and we have the Death card. So the Spring Equinox is essentially when we go from Pisces season into Aries season, like towards the end of Pisces season. Okay, 333 was just on the timer. Um, there's something here about you developing, about you growing. When I see the Three of Pentacles and I just saw 333, I think growth, I think development. I see you standing up for yourself. I see you telling the truth to someone here about ending something. You're releasing something that no longer serves you. And I will say that although you are releasing it, this person is not going to be over you. But some of you, it's a Scorpio. It could also be a Pisces or an Aries person or somebody on the cusp. But the Spring Equinox brings a rebirth. Now, that could just be you getting back to yourself with the Temperance card showing up getting back on your feet, finding more balance in your life, more poise, feeling more composed, feeling like, you know, you know your limitations now. You know what well, your limits, not your limitations. Not going to extremes for people anymore. There's something about you truly grounding and making your life more about you than other people. But I feel like the spring might see this person coming back. Okay, for sure. There's someone here who feels like they do not want to let you go. They could be using, um, for some reason, I just heard moon magic, like the moon to manifest you back. I'm seeing this rabbit here. I'm seeing this butterfly. Butterflies obviously represent transformation. It's like you're you're tra transforming. You are in a period of transition, but someone here wants to pull that energy back. So spirit is asking how teachable are you? Number nine is here. 
So let me just say, some of you could be born on the 9th, the 13th, the 7th, the 3rd, the 1st, the 6th, the 8th, the 7th, the 5th, the 10th, the 20th, the 2nd, the 14th. Okay, so the Page of Pentacles, how teachable are you? How do you make that up? This is the student of the tarot. So there's a lesson here that you've learned, a very practical lesson too with the Page of Pentacles. Some of you truly are intuitive because the Page of Pentacles is a um, root worker and he does represent divination as well. So for some of you, you're highly intuitive and Spirit wants you to tune into that intuition with the High Priestess coming out and the Page of Pentacles. There could also be some kind of magic going on around you. I don't know. But if you feel like that's something that could be going on with someone around you, this might be the confirmation that you need. We have your spirit self. Be who you are as you are with the seven of swords. So again, when people are around you and they are wearing a mask, because you won't believe in your dice, you have a mask. You have the, you have somebody here that's drama, okay? And a quiet person for some of you. But it's like, you know. Your spirit self, your intuition is tuned in, tapped in. You see through people, but you don't always listen to it. And that might be your Achilles heel. You don't listen to it. So Spirit is saying, how teachable are you? Like, how many times do you learn a lesson before it actually sticks, right? And I am, I got, I'm a three-time cancer. I got uh, cancer in my chart three times. And even though I am balanced out because I have a lot of earth, so I'm not like delusional or dreamy, like sometimes people accuse water signs of being. Um, and on the more challenging side can be very true about water signs. The balance of earth kind of, you know, it helps me a lot. So you do have earth here. And the thing about the page of pentacles is he's double earth. Okay. Cause the pages are earth and whatever the element is. So there's something about you being more practical, taking a more practical approach to something and putting your heartstrings, like tying them heartstrings up and just being a little bit more in your higher vibrational energy, but you can still give love. You can still be a good person. You can still be a responsible person, a trustworthy person and all of that, but you just don't give pieces of yourself away to people, you know, some of you have bleeding hearts. You're very charitable. You're a very giving person. And that's a beautiful energy. But it's always important to note that sometimes people see that as a come up. So we have the death card coming out again with the three of pentacles. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Yeah. So I feel like this is more like you with the three of pentacles kind of coming into your own. The three of pentacles is also a card of uh, mastery. Okay. It's also like being mentored or mentoring someone. Okay. So there's this energy of you developing you know the three of pentacles talks about a learning curve and so this is what you have learned recently that endings are merely beginnings you're not holding on to something that you felt like you couldn't live without i'm also seeing big news in your career there's some kind of rewards and recognition for you at work you could be getting a promotion or something like that or some of you this is a spiritual lesson that you've learned now we have the number five here which does represent change but usually conflict and changes that we don't want to see we have a mask here. This could be a Leo or an Aquarius person. It could be any fixed sign because the fixed signs represent the number five. And this energy is of the number five because this would be like the five of swords. This would be like the five of wands, five of pentacles, five of cups. So there could be some grief. There could be some money issues. There could be some trickery going on around you. And there could also be a lot of drama, conflict, and jealousy going on around you. But spirit is wanting you to see through the facades, okay? Because you do have the tricks to spirit here. So we have the, the lamb. The sacrificial lamb, always sacrificing yourself for other people. No, also, if you need proper rest, this is a reminder to get it. We have a cow here. I read this as Taurus energy. You can have Taurus in your chart, or you could be connected to a Taurus, or Taurus season could be significant. And then we have here uh, this person trying to catch you, somebody chasing you. Could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius person. I feel like somebody was chasing you with the chariot energy, could have got you. And then once they got you, they didn't appreciate you. It was like a catch and release. Let's get some advice. Some of you are so loyal. You're loyal to a fault. So we have the judgment card coming out. Wow. Wow. The judgment card is here twice. I answered the call of my heart. So some of you are tuning into your life purpose. This is your North Node energy. You have learned some major, major lessons and you will never be the same again. And that's a good thing because this is improvement. Okay, Scorpio energy, discernment and decision. You are definitely done with someone. They don't believe it, but you are. And then we have here, um, what is this? The divine masculine. Wow, so some of you have a divine masculine coming towards you or you are in your divine masculine energy because you already had divine feminine energy. 
So now, because you have the high priestess, that's divine feminine energy. This is that balance, the chariot, the temperance, balance of masculine and feminine energy. Even the six of pentacles is balanced. So there's something significant about you coming into balance with your divine masculine within yourself and possibly in a connection with an Aries for some of you or somebody that wants a real relationship, y'all. Structure, discipline, focus, or this is just how you're being. You're also taking accountability for your actions. You're not blaming anyone. You're very stable right now. We have virility and structure and will. Mm -hmm. So this is a powerful time for you. There's a powerful energy shift taking place. I love it. We're going to leave it there. Do me a favor, like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I will see you all the next time. Peace.